All right, everybody, this is day four of the 20 and 30 challenge. And my topic today is sugar. By this point, uh, hopefully after coming to the, the makeover and you're reading the books and you're reading the articles, hopefully by now you've, you've recognized that you got to get sugar out of your diet. If you want to lose weight in a month or even uh, just be healthy, you got to get sugar out of there. We know that sugar feeds cancer. We know that sugar causes inflammation. We know that sugar increases cholesterol. You know, high cholesterol is not the cause of heart disease and heart attacks. It's the inflammation, the oxidation of cholesterol that's the problem. And the oxidation is caused by an excess of sugar in the diet. And uh, we also know that increased sugar intake leads to diabetes and chronic fatigue, joint pain, uh, decreased immune function, increased levels of cortisol. And uh, so sugar is just bad. It, it, it causes lots of bad stuff in your body. So just get it out. And I want to remind you that, you know, sugar hides in a lot of things. I talk to a lot of people that say, you know, Dr. Ryan, I don't eat, I don't eat sugar. And then I have them record what they eat for a day or two. And it's, you know, bread, pasta, rice, cookies, crackers. Uh, well, maybe not the cookies, because that's obvious. But most people don't realize that, that there's, there's only three things that food could be. You know, it's either a carbohydrate, a fat, or a protein, and anything that's carbohydrate, even if it's an organic apple or organic oatmeal, it still turns to sugar. Anything that's carbohydrate turns to sugar in your body, which in turn increases insulin levels, increases cortisol levels, and, uh, you know, ends up leading to that cascade of bad things that happen in your body. And so obviously, I don't want you to cut out fruit completely in your diet forever. Uh, you don't have to cut out oatmeal forever and quinoa and, and good healthy grains like that. But if, if weight loss is the goal or if life transformation and uh, a major health kickstart is the goal for the next 30 days, you got to get as much of that out of your diet as possible. And so just to remind you what, what the rule is, if you're doing the advanced plan, you can have some some carbohydrates. Like you get carbohydrates from vegetables. A lot of people don't realize that, but you do. And then you can also get your carbohydrates from, from berries because typically berries are very low on the glycemic index, meaning that they don't contain a lot of fructose or sugar. So things like blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, we put those berries in our smoothie every morning and then I pretty much get all the sugar that I need. And the thing about sugar is that even if you're uh, even if you're consuming sugar and you're not on the advanced plan, you want to try to get most of your sugar in the morning. Well, why is that? Well, what does sugar give you? It gives you energy. So it makes sense that you wouldn't want to put a bunch of sugar in your body at the end of the day because guess what? It's going to be really hard to do at night. Fall asleep and stay asleep because then you got all this energy. There's no wonder why your sleep stinks. Even though you're sleeping seven, eight, nine hours a night, you're still waking up tired. It's because you're getting too many carbohydrates in the latter part of your day. You want to get all the sugars in early. Let that energy work for you during your day. I also want to highlight something else. You know, a lot of you are being really faithful and diligent about cutting sugars out. And even, even on day four, you know, you're already, already starting to, to uh, realize and uh, experience pretty significant sugar withdrawals. You know, research shows that quitting sugar is as difficult as quitting crack cocaine. And the reason why is, is that the same receptor sites in our brain that cocaine attaches to are what sugar attaches to. So when you get used to that, that's what creates an addiction. And when you try to get rid of that, obviously when you try to reverse an addiction, you go through withdrawals. And so you can literally be going through sugar withdrawals. And a lot of times this is the point when that happens. So if you're getting headaches, you're getting flu-like symptoms, you're getting sick to your stomach, you're getting chronic fatigue, aches and pains, uh, inflammation, those are all par for the course. That's what's supposed to happen to your body when your body's getting rid of something that's toxic and bad for you. So I just want to encourage you, just power through it. You know, it's like, it's like uh, you know, being pregnant and then giving birth. The, the old adage is, the miracle is just on the other side of all the pain. And uh, I, I love that that thought process because um, you know you just have to you just have to push through you just have to endure it to get to the goodness that's on the other side and guess what once you once you break through that once you break through the withdrawal um, then you're not addicted to sugar anymore 
And uh, that's a beautiful thing, you know. So I don't even I don't even crave sugar. I don't crave bread or pasta or rice or crackers or cookies like I used to. And it's because my body's so used to consuming fat and, and deriving energy from fat that I don't need those things. But it is tough. So I totally get it. You know, a lot of you are struggling right now, and you just want you know you would you would give your life savings for a bag of Cheetos or or just a cracker. And I've been there. I, my wife used to bring me. Cheetos home, you know, in chiropractic school is like a treat when I'd study really hard for my finals. Yes, I'm not perfect. Pizza and Cheetos are my kryptonite. I haven't had a Cheeto in probably 10 years, but um, still the pizza gets me every once in a while. But it's different. You know, I don't crave that stuff on a daily basis now. And um, the point is, you're going through, you know, some stuff right now, possibly your body's uh, in a transitional phase, and that's totally okay. Just let it happen, push through, drink lots of water. You know, make sure you're taking your vitamin D3, your omega, your optimal omega supplements. Um, be utilizing the perfect protein, the whey protein, or the plant protein in the mornings. That's going to keep your metabolism really, really high. And then, uh, you know, the more fat you consume, the less your body will crave sugar because it's craving sugar because it doesn't have energy. But if you give your if you give your body good energy in the form of good fat, like coconut oil, olive oil, raw butter, raw cheese. Um, uh, raw nuts and seeds, you know, healthy organic grass-fed beef or free-range chicken or wild-caught fish. Those those things are all going to be um, uh, are all going to afford you the appropriate amount of energy through good healthy fats. So keep up the good work. This is day four to life transformation.